of um, their preparation for their own parenthood. Is there is there anything happening in Northern Ireland or in your in the unit then for uh, in, with regards to these young children, or is it you know up to eight years as a tech as a technical definition for a child and I so? Yeah, uh, we have. Um one of the things that, that um, I suppose has changed is in that um, the, tre the treatment of, of children with congenital heart disease is one of the success stories of, of modern medicine. Um, and that success story has created a population of patients um, who have now, are now growing up with the heart disease. So now if you look um, at the population of, of people with congenital heart disease, there are actually more adults now in that population than children. And so that has led to the development of what are called adult congenital heart disease uh, services. And uh, we in, in the Belfast Trust um, have an adult congenital heart disease service. Uh, we tend to transition our patients across to that from about the age of 16 years on. And there's a specialized team there led by Dr. Chris Lockhart uh, in conjunction with, with specialist nurses. And, um, and that the focus there is, is uh, as well as being on their medical condition, of some of the things that lifestyle issues, um, things like pregnancy for uh, the, the young uh, mothers. And within the Belfast Trust, there is also a special maternity clinic for those patients um, who, where they are seen uh, jointly by uh, Dr. Cook, who is a, is a uh, an obstetrician with specialist expertise in that area, and Dr. Michael Roberts, who's a cardiologist. And so we try and, and guide those people along the, the path through there. Thankfully, um, for most uh, young women who have um, been treated in childhood for congenital heart disease, they are able to go on and have their own families. They do need increased surveillance during that period, but uh, we, we aim to provide that. 